So today is a very special kind of day because we are going out to the coast of Washington for some clear, dark skies. Now this wouldn't normally be that big of a deal or anything, but normally whenever you check the weather for the Washington coast, you're gonna see clouds, and rain. So I'll just give you a quick uh, overview here. We're going to Third Beach, which is about right here. So we usually head over to the coast down through Olympia, but this time we're gonna head up north, go through Port Angeles. We're gonna take the ferry over from Seattle. All right, adjusting the GoPro to the top of the car here. It's a giant magnet, so it's just gonna stick on even when we're flying at 70, 130 miles an hour. Oh! Heading into Glazers to get a little GoPro mount. Brand spanking new Glazers storefront out here in Seattle. They don't have the part we're looking for, so just gonna have a little bit more fun. They're focusing. Thing about, uh, we're just trying out this new toy we're gonna get soon. All right, Glazers, we love you. But you didn't have what we wanted in the GoPro department, but we will for sure be back for that Sony Zoom box. Hello. Hey. Uh, we're going to Bainbridge. Filming everything going on? Yep, All we right. are. Filming the adventure. Be on the three o'clock maybe. All right. Head to the good. right. Three o'clock maybe. That's it. Yeah. More like the three o'clock hell yeah, we're going to get on that ferry. Maybe. Find if someone can fix her eyes. All right, so looks like the three o'clock ferry is full. And the three maybe is also full. Let's see, we got, uh, we got two and a half hours to explore. Cool. I guess that's uh, not such a bad thing. All right, so this is absolutely great right now. I'm uh, up here on the deck with my camera shooting some time lapses of people getting on the ferry, um, ferry taking off, and Cole is right next to me somewhere. I can hear the drone just buzzing around. I'm sure he's getting a ton of great shots. The gorilla pod set up up here on the ferry. So the last few cars are coming on right now. We'll get going here pretty soon. Make our way to Bainbridge Island. Continue our journey to Third Beach. What do you see? You see Alki over there? Driving out of the ferry right now, sans Cole Kramer. Um, he is manning the gorilla pod on the front of the ferry, and I'm gonna find some place on the side of the road somewhere to pull off and pick him up. I actually have his phone and my phone, so we just decided that uh, we'd find each other somehow. Super stoked to start the next leg of this journey, and um, I can't park there. There he is. Oh yeah, team, back together again. A lemonade, please. A lemonade? Yes, please. Way, way nice and hot out here. What? They're bots? Yeah. Uh
right, we just stopped off the road at Squim. We're at Hardy's Market Deli Espresso. So right now we seem to get some food. I hope they have some sandwiches here. We definitely need a bag of ice because there's no ice anywhere because it's hot. Here we go. I got my bag. Getting a six inch Italian. Thanks, yeah. So we stopped on the side of the road here because the sun's setting and we're not going to make it to the beach on time. So we're going to find another spot right here. I'm just scurrying down to the beach right now. Ooh, I'll probably get my toes wet right here. Cole are stopped on the side of the road right now by Third Beach. Uh, kind of disappointed. There's fog above us and the forecast calls for fog all night. So we're trying to figure out what to do right now. What do you got, Cole? So Hurricane Ridge has clear skies all night. But it's two hours away, so we should get there at noon. Noon on the other side of the world. Check it out, 46 degrees. Ha, <laughs> 46 degrees, it's cold. We got shorts. We got jackets though, it's okay. Sleeping bags. Yeah. Okay, we'll be fine. Hurricane Ridge, here we come. Sometimes if you get too invested in your plans, you won't find the greatest things ever. Because we thought we were gonna go to the beach, but we ended up here at this mountain. Probably the coolest place we've ever been to. There's a lot of forest fires, crazy lighting, almost full moon. It's just really surreal and dreamy out here. We're just standing under the moonlight. We're gonna walk and find a spot, set up our cameras, watch these beautiful stars, watch the moon set. I can smell the smoke right now too. You can just smell it in your nostrils. Like my eyes started burning as we were getting up here. This is like nothing I've ever experienced before. Holy shit, we can see in the dark. guys so last night was really just something else I mean you can see you know, these mountains and these hills and the smoke behind me there was a point I woke up I could see three separate forest fires burning in the hills behind me and they were just there were points where it would just glow really bright red and then fade and glow again and it was just such a an awesome thing to see I don't know it's hard to it's hard to say all positive things about a forest fire because of course there's negative but it happened from from lightning strike from natural causes so, so that's the way that things go it's gonna take a little more time here to take in the view and pack up head back home to Seattle so if you want to keep experiencing and evolving with us you should join us each week and smash that subscribe button you know you'll not regret it thanks peace out we love all you